uh, a group like this mobilizing with uh, parallel patient advocate organizations you can go all the way back to the long history with the, the AIDS movement and how effective they were, both with Congress and the FDA. Uh, there is a potential here, and without uh, a major drive at this time when there's a recognition that we're so far below where we were as a percentage of GDP and our commitment to science, without this drive at this point, we're going to starve off scientific organizations here and all across the country. So we're at a critical historical pivot point. You've got a lot of power, but those patient advocate organizations need your scientific input and the funding to really support sustained outreach. Bob, this has been very helpful, I think, and, and um, we have a lot more to talk about, but we have one piece of unfinished business. Before we get to that, um, one thing I've considered, which we, which we can work on it if you think it would be useful, is to bring a set of patient advocates to San Diego from outside the city from different diseases, not just one group, and do a field trip around here. Uh, I, I'd love to have a chance to show that off. And maybe if uh, Dr. Brenner and Pradeep and some of the folks could think about it, what would you put together uh, over the course of a three-quarter day to show people about uh, what science is funding here? If we could illustrate that for some people, I think we get some, some good publicity out of it and get some good education. Yeah, and uh, Dwayne Roth was fantastic at doing that uh, and connect right. is a huge organizing force uh, that uh, is, is there that can help implement that. So uh, Scott, I think that would be phenomenal.